Welcome to the Competitive Advantage Podcast. This episode is going to run um, basically like the others. I'm going to start with a book recommendation. And uh, this one is actually the next book breakdown coming up uh, to the Stairway to Wisdom, uh, my uh, my library of expert book breakdowns. And uh, then we're going to move on to one success tactic or strategy I'm using right now or, or to grow my business. And I've got one person that I really want to introduce you to, and uh, he is one of uh, the people I look up to with respect to uh, growing on YouTube and uh, and just how he's built his own channel to half a million subscribers is really insane, it's really interesting to me, and I think it might be to you as well. And then I've got a high leverage question that I want to ask you, and actually this this question is going to be a little bit different than previous episodes. It's actually a series of questions uh, from one of my favorite books of all time. And uh, so that book and those questions are coming up. And then after that, I'm just going to let you in a little bit uh, to my business, what I'm working on directly right now uh, to grow. Um, this year, I set a, a, a revenue goal of $50,000 a month. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed, but I, I I like my chances. I have a high degree of confidence. Uh, one of my friends, uh, he just came out with another uh, a new book. And uh, he's like a hundred, sorry, uh, $800,000 per month, like us, um, in his coaching business, which is just truly insane. And, uh, and he'll tell you himself, like, he's not like, he's not the, like the smartest person around. Like he's he paid to, uh, to get in, in the room with people who are actually like doing what he wanted to do and who had done what he wanted to do. And, uh, so he was able to just, you know, pay them for their knowledge and then bring it into his own business and actually do what they said, uh, to do. And then he does it. Then he's at $800,000 a month, uh, which is actually the, the idea behind the competitive advantage, uh, community that I run on school, uh, which coincidentally is the sponsor of the competitive advantage podcast. It's the first link in the description, and it's my private coaching community where I take anyone who wants to add at least like bare minimum a thousand dollars a month to their business, and I basically give you like step by step roadmap to follow. Like if you actually do the things that I'm like telling you to do, um, there's a like a, a very low chance uh, that you'll fail um, with like a thousand dollars a month minimum, and like it, it's like you'll start to realize this that like. Once you sort of advance to higher levels, you'll start to realize that, you know, $1,000 a month is fucking nothing. You know, $10,000 a month, beginner level, like beginner level, which is actually insane. And like $800,000 a month is pretty damn good. Again, like there are people and like a lot of people, not just a few, but like most of the people who are at, you know, a million a month, 2 million a month, 10 million a month, uh, which is pretty insane. And, uh, this is sort of going off on a little bit of a tangent, but one of those things that I don't really have any, any big interest in doing is building some like massive organization. Like I just don't want to do it. It's a very big time commitment, which will take me away from my higher higher level goal of reading 10,000 books, right? And uh, so I'm at 1,292 right now. Um, so I've got a lot of reading to do and it's sort of like, you know, yes, it, it would be nice. It would be fun. It would be an adventure uh, to build this this organization uh, that you know makes like ten million dollars a month and have a, a big team and you know and uh, like off sites and you know get featured in like you know business magazines and stuff like that. You know, I I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but you really have to decide like how much is enough. Like what do you, what you actually want your business to look like? And uh, that's actually, I mean, that's actually one of the main themes in the uh, book that I'm going to recommend at the end of the episode. Uh, but you really have to. Sort of make that decision for yourself at the beginning uh, so you don't have to or so you're not uh like pulled away by all these people saying that, like you're uh, like a giant failure if you don't have like a like a hundred person team Getting into the first book recommendation here we've got 10x is easier than 2x by benjamin hardy and uh, he's working off the ideas of a brilliant entrepreneur named uh, dan sullivan and you'll you'll run into dan sullivan's name everywhere like he's he basically helped a lot of like the, the the entrepreneurs that you've heard of and that you look up to, like he, they all look up to Dan. And uh, so he's got this sort of wealth of business uh, knowledge. And uh, so he gets uh, uh, Benjamin Hardy, who's a, a, a fairly gifted writer, uh, to to sort of organize all of his ideas and present them in a compelling, engaging way. And so they teamed up um, on a few book projects. Uh, and I read all of them. Uh, there's one called Who Not How that was uh, really helpful to me in my business. And uh, 
Uh, there's another one called Be Your Future Self Now, which I, I really enjoyed, and uh, just a bunch of them, right? And so this one is called 10X. It's easier than 2X. And uh, I highly recommend this one. It's the, the next breakdown at the Stairway to Wisdom. But basically, the idea is that like it's the same amount of work uh, to go 10X as you would uh, trying to make these sort of linear step-by-step -step, uh, improvements. It's just a different way of thinking that, that makes the difference, right? Here's a representative quote from the book that will really give you a, a good idea of what it's about. And uh, so Benjamin Hardy, he says, going 10X means you're living based on the most intrinsic and exciting future you can imagine. 10X future becomes your filter for everything you do, and most of your current life can't make it through that 10X filter. So that kind of brings me back to what I was saying before, how, how you have to make a decision as to like how big you want your business to actually be, right? Um, so if you don't want this like giant organization, um, you need to sort of uh, measure every decision against that, like against what you do actually want your business to look like, right? And uh, so if you like say you, you do want to like form this like giant organization, build this huge business, right? Um, everything that's that's taking you away from that is just noise. Like almost literally everything else is a distraction that will not take you to that 10x place like it's a totally different uh way of thinking right and uh, it's kind of annoying in the book how he, he sort of overuses the word qualitative uh like every page it, i think like i haven't counted the number of times he uses the word qualitative it's like it's got to be a, a hundred or more or more um, but it, it is a qualitatively different way of thinking and uh i mean i, I hate that i'm describing it with that word i've but there you go. And this quote's right from my breakdown of the book where he says, in all aspects of life, the competition is highest for average goals. Not only is the competition highest, but the excitement is lowest and the pathway forward is dramatically more complex and confusing with small and linear goals. With unrealistic, impossible, or 10x level goals, the competition is lowest, the excitement is highest, and the pathway forward becomes simple and non-linear. You stop following the crowd. You shift toward quality rather than quantity and stop competing with anyone. So that's supremely important to understand because you start to see that like so many people are, you know, are trying to, you know, even with the revenue goals, right? So many people you'll see on X or Instagram or whatever, or YouTube, uh, they'll say, you know, I'm building my, you know, $10,000 a month, you know, business, right? Um, those are the people you're, you're competing against, right? Like everybody says that they want to build, you know, a $10,000 a month business. How many people do you see uh, want to uh, build a million dollar a month business? Like suddenly, like by making that switch, by making that, that uh, you know, that, that nonlinear uh, jump, you're instantly uh, in a room that's a lot less crowded, right? And uh, there's a really dumb phrase that I use all the time I thought where uh, uh, it's, it goes like it, it's never crowded along the extra mile, right? And it's kind of the same idea here, right? So when you go for these, like these massive things, right? Like how many people are trying to be Olympic athletes? You know, probably not that many, uh, but how many people are trying to, you know, try out for college sports teams? Like a ton, like you're competing against, you know, tens of that, hundreds of thousands, you know, millions of people potentially, right? For these very limited spots, but you're competing with far fewer people um, to really get into the highest levels. And that's true with, with anything. And so the whole book's phenomenal. Uh, 10X is easier than 2X is what it's called. And uh, my breakdown will be ready uh, in a few days. So uh, if it's not ready by the time you see this, um, it'll be very, uh, very, very close to that. On here to like a business tactic or, or strategy. I, I, don't, I don't think you, you'd call it any of those things, uh, but it comes from one of my favorite motivational speakers, uh, Les Brown. And uh, what he's like, one of his famous sayings is that, you know, it's not over until I win. And that's the, that's the kind of mindset that you have to, that you have to have, right? Like you have to, I cannot even imagine uh, somebody like halfway succeeding in fucking anything without having the mentality that it, it's, it's not over until I fucking win. And like, I've like the more unhinged that I become, the more I embrace that philosophy myself. Like it's not fucking over. Like I'm not done. Like, is this it? Not, no fucking way. Right. And uh, I mean, it reminds me of, uh, <laughs> Uh, Oscar Wilde, uh, one of my favorite writers, put it in a in much more literary way. Uh, he said that, uh, you know, everything will be fine in the end. You know, if everything's not yet fine, then it's not yet the end. It's kind of what Les Brown is saying, but sort of less aggressive. Uh, but it's so absolutely true. So, like, you have to, I mean, nobody's born thinking this way. Like, nobody is, and I mean, certainly I wasn't. Like, the, the level of 
I mean, there's literally no other word for it. The level of unhinged um, that I've like sort of ascended to, like these past you know months, past year, um, like I wasn't born thinking this way. This is development. Like you develop into this. You you grow this mindset. You develop it. You cultivate it, and uh, you really have to if you want to win. And so it's not over until I win. And uh, so I highly, highly recommend um, just checking out Les Brown. And I believe, I mean, I'm not sure how old he is, but uh, uh, he was, I mean, he was like big on the motivational lecture circuit um, in the geez, 80s, I think, 90s for sure. Uh, he even had his own uh, television show uh, a little while ago wow. or for a brief stretch. And so any like his clips are up on YouTube and some of them are, are like uh, uh, better than others. But look them up, like look up Les Brown and just like his exposed to that mindset like start to believe that it's not over until i win and uh I mean, like don't even at this point listen like i don't even understand people who, who entertain uh the idea that they, they won't eventually just make it like they won't win like couldn't even imagine giving up like how like how fucking embarrassing and really shameful would it be to just, like give up on something that you, that's important to you that you've said is important to you i, I couldn't even I couldn't even imagine um, so yeah, like that, that's, that's it. Like that's, I mean, that's sort of a tactic. It's, it's not over until I win. And now the person I want to introduce you to is my friend Gabe. And uh, he's got a, a YouTube channel with 553,000 subscribers um, at the time I'm recording this. And uh, so he uh, makes videos about minimalism and finance, lifestyle, things like that. Uh, he's got an excellent course actually that just came out called the five hour YouTuber. And he's been quite instrumental in my own YouTube progress. And uh, I mean, we've only spoken a few times. I remember we had like a, like a very short kind of like a get to know you kind of like a video chat, maybe geez, like a year ago or something. And uh, what I, I noticed immediately is like, he's a fantastic listener. And uh, actually a friend of mine that I mentioned earlier, uh, the guy was at like $800,000 a month. Uh, last time I was on a, a video call with him, uh, like the exact same observation, like struck, uh, stuck out. Like I've never, like we are among the best listeners I've ever, I've ever been around. Right. And uh, so like both of them, like when you, when you were talking, like they were there, like they were, they're listening and like not trying to think of what they're going to say next. And, like they're focused on you. And uh, like, they wanted to actually like hear what you had to say and understand what you had to say. And uh, so games like that, I was super impressed uh, with him and some of the advice that he gave me, uh, I've used like ever since then. And it's really been tremendously helpful. And uh, so, yeah, the uh, five hour YouTuber is, uh, uh, I'll put a link down uh, in the video description here. And he doesn't know that I'm mentioning him here. Like this is not a, a prearranged thing. I'm just like a genuine supporter of Gabe, what he's doing and his channel, his channel is awesome. So uh, check it out. I, uh, I don't watch like every single video of his that comes out, uh, but the ones I do, like it's always time well spent. And I think the moment he uh, publishes new videos every Saturday. Uh, so if you're into that, into that, like minimalism, finance, lifestyle type stuff, and uh, yeah, definitely recommend uh, Gabe's channel. Okay, so now we get into the high leverage question here, and it's a series of questions from one of my favorite books of all time. And it's a book that I didn't even, like I resisted even reading the thing. I thought like I wasn't, did not it. Like I had no idea that I was going to enjoy this book as much as I did. And it's called The Greatest Salesman in the World by Og Mandino. And uh, imagine having a name like Og. <laughs> let's let's name him Og. <laughs> I, I I couldn't even. Uh, but this guy, I mean, he, he went from like being a best divorced alcoholic with basically no future, like on the verge of just ending it. And uh, so he went on to sell more than 50 million copies of this book, which is just an amazing book. Uh, it's about sales, obviously, uh, but it's about so much more than that. Like it, it has so many layers and it's just poetically written. Like the series of questions that I'm about to um, that I'm about to read, it, it's a direct quote from the book and it's just wonderful. And like I won't. I won't waste any more time before I get to it. It's just awesome. It says, forgetting yesterday, neither will I think of tomorrow. Why should I throw now after maybe? Can tomorrow's sand flow through the glass before today's? Will the sun rise twice this morning? Can I perform tomorrow's deeds while standing in today's path? Can I place tomorrow's gold in today's purse? Can tomorrow's child be born today? And tomorrow's death cast its shadow backward and darken today's joy. Did I concern myself over events which I may never witness? Did I torment myself with problems that may never come to pass? No, tomorrow lies buried with yesterday, and I will think of it no more. 
And later on, he says, this day is all I have, and these hours are my eternity. The whole book is like that. It's just phenomenal. I took four full pages of notes from this thing, and I just I cannot recommend it highly enough. And I'll leave the uh, the link to it uh, down in the video description, and I'll also leave a link to my uh, my book notes from this book. Um, all four pages, you won't have to like enter your email or anything to get it. Um, it's just like a free, shareable uh, Google Doc uh, with my summary and notes. And just in the video description, you can just have it. And uh, I do have uh, my notes from uh, from all 1,292 books that I've read uh, up until now. Uh, they're all on my uh, Patreon, which you can find in the video description as well. Uh, but for that particular book, um, I'll leave the uh, the Amazon link and the link to my notes. You don't have to pay anything. And I will probably... I mean, this may be you know coming up later, but I might actually uh, write a full breakdown of the greatest salesman in the world uh, for my library of expert book breakdowns uh, that I call the the Stairway to Wisdom. And I haven't made one yet. Uh, the next next uh, breakdown is 10x is easier than 2x, and uh, so I've got another uh, few uh, in between that. Uh, but this one's so spectacular, um, I might have to actually do that. And we're nearing the end. I mentioned I just finished my 42nd book of the year, and it's uh, this one. It's called The Art of Focus by uh, Dan Coe. And uh, he is a like big, uh, big room YouTuber, and he he's like seven hundred thousand uh, subscribers. He's big into like his like the tagline that I would use for his work uh, would be freedom through solopreneurship. So he runs like a, a one man business basically, uh, which is basically I mean it, it's it's personal branding, and which is basically the future. Like if you do not have like a strong, persuasive, influential personal brand in 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 the next. Jeez, five years, like next year, like honestly, like time is a wasting. <laughs> uh, you really need to have your personal brand set up and, and firing like as soon as possible, or you will just be left behind. You'll you'll be insignificant for the rest of human time. Um, and like that's not an exaggeration. Like you know, employers. I mean, they don't look at resumes anymore. Like who? Like when was the last time you like anybody cared about resumes? Like it's all about your your personal brand, your online presence. And you know the the, the content, the, the material, the the knowledge that you're sharing, and like the things that you've you, your proven capabilities online, and that you can monetize that, and you can make like an, uh, a full career for yourself. You don't have to work for anyone, uh, but if you do uh, end up applying for a job, like these employers will absolutely look um, your social media, your your personal brand, and you know if you don't have one, uh, your your resume is just gonna get like. The resume is number 384 in a stack of like 1,200 or something. Uh, nobody cares, and you're just going to be forgotten. Uh, but if you have like a strong personal brand, and uh, this book, I mean, Art of Focus will definitely help you, uh, you know, discover that. Like, build one out for yourself. And uh, it, it's one of the best books that I've read so far this year. Uh, like I said, it's 42nd book of the year. I just highly recommend it. And just get started on your personal brand. Like I will help you. Like that's like that's the whole point of the uh, the competitive advantage uh, community on school. Like I help you build your personal brand and just become unforgettable, undeniable, uh, remarkable uh, online. And uh, it's really the future. And like the future now, you have to get on this. And uh, and it's, it's that important. Uh, so. Art of Focus. Uh, I mentioned a little while ago that I was going to uh, start sharing a bit of my uh, my. Uh, my, my own sort of platform goals, my, my goals for my personal brand. Uh, I'm big right now into building my YouTube and my newsletter. Uh, so right now on Instagram, I just passed like 110,000 uh, followers. Like that's running along pretty well. And like I'm growing consistently, like I'm, I'm finding what works and I'm really doubling down on it. I'm getting, you know, leads and newsletter subscribers from there, right? Uh, so like that's good, right? And that's, that's kind of what I recommend. Like I, I recommend building up one uh, platform at a time and then moving on and then sort of moving into something else, uh, which is not how I did it. Like, <laughs> like I'm saying, don't do it the way I did it. Uh, do it like the, the smart way uh, where, where you build one platform. And I really see... Um, YouTube and you know newsletters as like being like, where it's at, um, and like every like, every business is different. Like every every person's sensibility is different. Like if you're if you're like if you're supremely uncomfortable with video, uh, but you're a gifted writer, then by all means, like you don't need uh, to be on YouTube, right? Like you don't to, like you can dominate you know um, X or LinkedIn or Medium, right? Uh, you can make a tremendous living uh, just those three platforms and totally abandon uh, YouTube, Instagram. You don't need it. Uh, but for what I do, and like the, the the direction that I want to take, it's you know newsletters and my YouTube uh, channel. So that's where I'm really doubling down. Um, I just hit 3,800 uh, newsletter subscribers. 
uh, not too long ago. And uh, before the end of the year, I want like 50,000. Uh, I'm really pouring money into uh, paid ads right now and just like growing my newsletter that way. And like I make sales through my newsletter all the time. And uh, I recently set up a, a, a great welcome sequence. And so immediately when someone signs up to my newsletter, they get a series of emails and I, I sell in every single um, welcome uh, email, right? And like, it's not all sales stuff. It's not like in your face, like buy my shit. Um, there's like, there's a way for me to get paid in every single email, um, every single one that I send, like in the welcome sequence, in the regular emails. And like, that's how uh, you're going to make this support, like this uh, sustainable for you, right? Uh, having ways to get paid. Like that's actually, what, man, one of the best books. I'll just give you like a, uh, another sort of bonus recommendation here. Uh, it's called the 10 pillars of wealth by Alex Becker. Uh, one of my, my, absolute favorite business books. And what he, like he, he says it like straight out and you just like sold his company for like nine figures. And he says like you have to like focus on doing the stuff that actually gets you paid, uh, which is again, something that I did not do in the beginning. And I'm like starting to become smarter in that sense. And so I started doing that and hey, it all worked out. So uh, yeah, I recommend that book. And that's kind of where the focus is now. So I'll, I'll give you more updates uh, in the next episode here it'll be next week uh, but uh, but yeah that's that's it for now um we covered a tremendous amount uh, in this episode and uh, i want to thank you for tuning in uh if you enjoyed uh the podcast obviously obvious stuff like the the liking and the subscribing and the reviewing and the sharing all that stuff uh, do all the things uh, but uh, yeah so the next episode will come back or uh, will come uh, come out next week everything we discussed in the episode is down in the video description including the uh, the link to my private business mastermind so if you want to grow your business as fast or faster than I'm growing mine. Uh, that's where you want to be. Um, like it's the like the, the cheapest it'll ever ever be. Like I couldn't even imagine like three years from now or or even like next year. Like you will not be able to get access to my time for as little money as you can right now. Like it's actually an insane deal. And uh, yeah, I, I won't like hype it up too much. But like if you want like. Basically, I will take you from zero or wherever you are um, to a thousand dollars a month. Uh, your your first thousand or your next thousand, uh, less than ninety days, uh, absolutely guaranteed. Like going to happen, will not let you fail. And uh, so that's all in the video description as well. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. While you sit in there complaining, I'll be training. While you sit in there just waiting, I'm creating. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable.